Hello everyone, on this video I'm going to show you the brand new reference track feature that you can now find in the audio montage. The reference track allows you to add a reference audio file and switch playback between the reference track and the montage tracks that you're working on without any glitches or latency. The reference track allows you to put a reference audio file on the track or using an input signal to compare the audio from the reference track with the playback from the other montage tracks. Switching between signals is latency free and happens without any dropout or hiccup. This feature will be incredibly useful for users that do mastering and have reference files and they want to compare their work with a reference file that the client sent or maybe a commercial track. So let me show you how you set it up. It's actually very simple. All you need to do is create a reference track and that's it. Now you can drop any audio file that you want as your reference track. So now what you can do is you can play back your audio montage and toggle between your audio montage and your reference file super quickly. You can even use a shortcut to do this. Let me show you. So as you can see, the transition is seamless without any latency clicks or pops. This will allow mastering engineers to compare the tracks, cross-reference with reference tracks, and basically get to the result that they want way, way faster. So as you can see, when I enable the reference track, everything else in the montage is muted immediately and the reference track plays solo. And when I deactivate it, it gets muted straight away. You can add up to three reference tracks. So one could be a commercial track, one could be a reference track from the client and what could be an external audio source. The monitor button allows you to use an external input signal as the reference audio. This could be a CD player or any external source that contains material that you want to reference. And it doesn't stop there. We also have the routing options where you can set the input output routing for the reference track. So I can choose to listen to my reference track through the main playback bus or through the master section playback processing, which means that if I've added any, for example, room correction plugins to my playback processing, I can even monitor my reference track through them. I can even choose to send my reference track to a dedicated physical output. So as you can see, the reference track not only allows for seamless A-B comparison, but gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to routing and cross-referencing files within Wavelab. 